Hello everyone, my name is Javen, and welcome to my CryEngine tutorial series. In this tutorial, we're going to show uh, downloading, uh, where to get CryEngine, and then installing and setting it up. Okay, so the first thing we want to do is we want to go to crydev.net. As you can see, I'm already here. Then we want to download the free SDK now. And then click download now. And then we would save the file. And I've already done so to help speed up this tutorial a little bit. And I have it over here. Okay, the next thing we want to do is we want to create a folder anywhere. I'm going to dump mine on the desktop. And I'm just going to call it CDK. And then just drag and drop everything out. All right. Now, while this is downloading, uh, you should register. And obviously, you have to scroll all the way down. Click agree. And then register. And then activate your account. And once that's done, then you'll be able to log in once you actually have CryEngine downloaded. OK, so I, um, I paused it so it would take so long because it was kind of taking a while. Now, to actually launch it, uh, there are two executables. One, if you have a 32-bit operating system, obviously you want to want you want to launch the 32-bit version. So go in here, and you can either launch the launcher or the editor. However, if you have a 64-bit version, and it is recommended that you have a 64-bit version because then you can have access to more memory, and it's well, it kind of needs it eventually when you get start making much larger maps. So then we'll just launch editor.exe. Then everything will begin to initialize. Okay, and then you would just enter in your username and password. And obviously right here, if you haven't done so, you create an account, and then you hit login. And there we go. So that concludes this tutorial. If you have any questions, please stop by my forums. And if you have any questions about CryEngine itself, stop by theirs as well. Um, follow me on Twitter if you'd like to keep up to date with what I'm doing as well. Uh, feel free to join my Facebook or Steam group. Uh, lots of people have done so, so far. And it's a great place to ask me questions personally as well. I also have an IRC if you'd like to get a hold of me a lot easier and ask me direct questions. Alright, so I'll see you guys in the next one.